This woman is called Yuko Sugimoto. Her photo, taken in Ishinomaki the day after the Japanese tsunami struck, went around the world. When the wave hit northeast Japan on March the 11th, killing more than 19,000 people, Yuko's five-year-old son was in school. The photo captured her in the midst of a desperate search for her child. And then, after three days, she found him. Tears blurred my eyes. I couldn't see anything. I was totally speechless. When my eyes cleared, I saw Raito was already in his father's arms. <laughs> One year later, the rubble that covered this road where the photo was taken has been cleared away. But along the coast, the debris is still piled up. Some areas of the town still look like a disaster zone. Yuko's home was also destroyed and has not yet been rebuilt. I was so shocked when I first came back here. It was chaos. It looked nothing like the house I used to live in. Today, Yuko, her husband and son live a few miles away in a temporary home. They lead a normal life, but Yuko's celebrity has made relationships with other tsunami victims difficult. In Ishinomaki, some people suffered a lot more than I did. When I was invited to France, I was shocked. I thought I wasn't the one who should be going. That's why I didn't tell anyone, besides my family and close friends. Yuko would like to use her high profile to help the other tsunami victims. But above all, she wants to make sure her son feels safe. She says the tsunami and their three-day separation has left him emotionally scarred.